Praise be to Jesus Christ, dear children. Hello, dear children. I hope all of you are doing well. I'm glad to welcome you to our beautiful day where we learn more about our powerful and merciful God and Jesus Christ, his beloved son. This whole year, we will be learning about our loving and merciful God and about our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, who came here on earth to save us from sin. In today's class, we are going to learn the remaining part of chapter 15, The Risen Jesus, where we learn about Jesus rising from the dead and appearing to disciples to give them the strength to go and preach the gospel all over the world. Before we start today's class, let us all say a small prayer, requesting all the children of God to join your hands and close your eyes. Dear Jesus, you are the truly risen Lord. Help us also to grow up as good child of yours always obedient to your teachings. Amen. Today, we are going to learn about Jesus who died on the cross for our sins and is our risen Lord as our perfect Savior. But before that, let's take a quick recap of our previous class. We learnt in our previous class that we on the Sunday, the third day after Jesus' death, early in the morning, a few women decided to visit the tomb. They were shocked to find the stone already removed from the door. The women saw two angels and they said to the women, Jesus isn't here anymore. He has risen. Mary Magdalene was standing outside the tomb wondering what had happened. Mary, the voice came again. Teacher, she said, has a heart flared up with gladness. Yes, it was Jesus. She was so excited that she could not wait to tell the disciples that Jesus had truly risen. One day, Jesus appeared to his disciples as they were sitting in the upper room. And he said, Peace be with you. Then, Jesus even ate food with them so that they could really see that he was a real person. Thomas embraced Jesus with great love and affection and said, My Lord and my God. Jesus appeared to disciples for 40 days after his resurrection and gave them the Holy Spirit to give them the courage to go and preach the gospel. Now, let's continue to learn the remaining part of lesson, the risen Jesus. We celebrate Easter in commemoration of the resurrection of Jesus. On the 40th day of his resurrection, Jesus appeared to the disciples again. He lifted up his arms and blessed them. After that, he ascended into heaven. Easter is the greatest celebration in the Catholic Church because it is the completion of the Holy Week that ends with the resurrection of Jesus. 
Easter celebrates the beginning and foundation of Christianity. Jesus was raised from the dead and it shows that he conquered sin and death. He is the only son of God who through his resurrection brings us closer to God and our faith. When Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life, John chapter 11 verse 25, he means that through him we will have new life. Our old bad habits and naughtiness we will be able to live behind if we have Jesus in our lives. Jesus is also telling us that we must live in such a way so that we can join him in heaven after this life. Just like he joined his God the Father in heaven. Jesus promised us, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. And you know the way where I am going. John chapter 14 was 1 to 4. Jesus died and resurrected for us. His resurrection is the proof that Jesus is the Son of God. Let us build our faith that Jesus is our Lord and God. Let us all believe that He is alive and with us even now, each day of our lives. Let us all live in such a way that we will reach God, the Father in heaven, through Jesus who went up to heaven. Alright children, so let's resolve today. Jesus, who is the Saviour of the world, He has forgiven us and released us from the grip of sin. He has promised to take us to be with Him in heaven. For this, I will always lead a life of being prayerful and following Jesus' commandments. Jesus would be so, so happy with us if we do that. Now, let's do a wonderful activity on this theme. That is, the risen Jesus. You need two paper plates to do this activity. It is a very interesting and simple craft activity. First, you have to make the outline of a cross in the center and paint blue color around the cross outline. It will look something like it is shown here on the screen. Okay children, now take the second plate and write he is risen on the top side of this paper plate. Decorate the center portion of the paper plate. You can use your imagination to show it like a rock that was placed in front of Jesus' tomb. Okay children? Now, finally, cut the second plate in the middle, just like it is shown in this picture. Okay, children? Now, staple both the plates together. Once both the plates are placed properly, first one on top of the second, you can start moving the top half of the paper plate sidewise. And it will look amazing. It will show that from the cross, Jesus rose from this tomb. It will look just like this picture on the screen. Okay children, now use your imagination to make it very colourful. It's a beautiful Easter day celebration and make this craft as beautiful as possible. 
it will look like the tomb in which Jesus was crucified and he rose from the dead. Now, write a title at the bottom of your chart, Jesus is risen from the dead. Matthew chapter 28 verse 7. Take help from your parents if you want. I'm sure your mama and papa would love to do this beautiful poster along with you. Take a picture of your poster and send it to your teacher before the next class. You can put up this drawing of the risen Jesus near your study table. Okay children? So children, did you all remember what we learned today? Let's take a quick recap. Today, we learned that we celebrate Easter in commemoration of the resurrection of Jesus. On the 40th day of his resurrection, Jesus appeared to the disciples again. Easter celebrates the beginning and foundation of Christianity. Jesus was raised from the dead and it shows that he conquered sin and death. He is the only son of God who through his resurrection brings us closer to God and our faith. When Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life, John chapter 11 verse 25, he means that through him we will have new life. Our old bad habits and naughtiness will be able to live behind if we have Jesus in our lives. Jesus is also telling us that we must live in such a way so that we can join him in heaven after this life. Just like he joined his God the Father in heaven. Jesus died and resurrected for us. His resurrection is the proof that Jesus is the Son of God. Let's build our faith that Jesus is our Lord and God. Let us all believe that He is alive and with us even now, each day of our lives. Let us all live in such a way that we will reach God the Father in heaven through Jesus who went up to heaven. Now to conclude, let's say a small prayer. Sweet Jesus, my Lord, my God, help us to reach our Father in heaven. You are my risen Lord. You are the Son of God who came to live amongst us. Help us to follow you and learn from you each day. Amen. Children, I hope you all understood everything that we have learned today. Take care and praise be to Jesus Christ. Thank you.